This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, Unit 6, Physical Computing, Lesson 2, Designing Screens with Code, Puzzle 5. Changing Position. Every design element except for screen has an XY property that controls its position. Do this using use the set property block. Using the set property block, move red button, which is this, and notice that on the screen right now it does say X and Y so we can know where to position things because there's a big grid hidden behind the screen I guess you could say and it's how we tell uh, the computer where to put things. Uh, move red button so that it matches the image to the right. Ah, uh, right there. No, we remove design mode. Okay. Hmm. So how does this work? If you look at this, it's the ID of the item, the property that we want to change, and then the value. ID of the item, the property that we want to change, and then the value. What's its current position? Let's see what happens. Here's why. I just want to, let's try that. So it went up a little. Hmm. That sets y to 0, and this sets x to 0. Let's try doing, I mean, if we want them both set to 0, I need to reset. I think the default must be somewhere near the middle, so let's see. Let's, yeah, 0, 0 is this top corner, so let's give that a shot. Let's set x to 0 and y. Uh, well, this isn't going to do it, but, okay, that moved to, so let's try 0 for x, that's getting there, and then 0 for y, because these are the properties, this is the value it's going to equal, so we say, hey, grab the red button, change the x to 0, now we say, hey, grab the red button, change the y to 0, you do only one thing at a time, let's see, ta-da, cool. It is kind of tricky. You might want to try to change them both within one function, and you can't. Let's uh keep going. 